Ooh, maybe it goes to this rope. Does it go to the rope? Does it go to the rope? I bet it goes in the rope. The rope's got a hole, and the key goes in the hole. <laughs> Welcome back to Time of Death. I am your host, Eno Tack, and this is Amnesia the Dark Descent, and we're going to play a custom story. I'm hoping the audio levels are right, and that you can hear me over the game, and um, that the game is not is loud enough for you to understand everything and hear everything. We're going to do as expected. I've, I'm not going to read that. I I get very annoyed at typos and I've tried recording this a billion times so I know what to do in the first part but um <laughs> this paragraph right here it angers me when I try to read it because there's so many errors in it that I can't help but correct every single one but I'm gonna try again for the fifth time to read it. As expected by Biowolf. At least he spelt that correctly. Your name is Christopher. You work at a hospital for the mental ill. <sighs> Everything has seemed normal as far as normal might be amongst these types of people. For the past few years you've been working there. Or here. I, my mouse is in the way. Uh, that was all until this one guy was sent in. Everyone thought he was just another person that had some kind of mental sickness, but oh, were we wrong? As time passed, we never heard much from him as he mostly sat around in his room, not talking to anybody. But at night, there was always... Mm, this red glowing light coming from beneath his door. We're already up a gigabyte, son of a bitch. Uh, as well, mm, his loud moans of sadness. The first few times your colleagues, as well as yourself, should be calm as there, ran to his room to check on him, but as soon as we reached his door, he stopped and he went back to normal. That was some time ago now, and people have stopped coming to his room at night. That's when it all began. People began to disappear. Disappear? Some heard screams in the night, and as more and more people began disappearing, the doctors and nurses did as well, which gave you a hell of a lot of work to do. So you... Mm, that's... That's not a word. You began working late at night. One day, you didn't feel so good, as I do right now. You suddenly heard a scream and collapsed on the floor. Okay, I don't care. Let's restart. Uh, all right, going up about two gigabytes now. That's nice. One moment. Okay, I was just checking to see if the audio, if the recording and the audio were fine. So they're fine. Uh, I kind of barely remember what to do. So I'll just search everything. Thank you. Laudanum, more laudanum, la di da 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 num, da 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 da, la di da da, la di da da. Check. Uh, nothing in the painting. Nothing. 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 Pottery. Pottery broken. Ooh, chests. You contain four tinder boxes, and I don't have a lantern. Okay. Uh, let's go the way of the broken chair. Clipping issue. Okay. Uh, that's nothing. Lantern. Suspicion. I just know there is something with this guy. The screams in the night, the red glow, something like that is not just something you ignore. The few times I have seen this guy, he always gives me this weird look as if he wants something with me. 
Maybe he knows I want to find out what he's actually up to. Maybe he wants to kill me. So many typos. Dot, dot. I'm just gonna close this and uh, don't mind me I'm just gonna get in here you kinda bust through that door buddy yeah you're gonna bust through that door I'm just gonna close this yeah I'm just gonna wait right here while you go away maybe jerk off a bit uh, who knows because I'm really silent when I masturbate. There's nothing in my trash can right here. Uh, got some Reese's wrappers, but I don't want to throw those away. Uh, do I have any? Do I have anything to drink? Oh, I have a tiny bit of Mountain Dew. I'll just drink it. Ah, that's cool. Oh, sounds like you just murdered somebody. That's nice. Murdering somebody's always nice. I'm assuming you're far enough away where you won't hear me get out of here. I'm gonna crouch so you can't hear me. You gone, buddy? You gone? Nah, you're almost gone. Hey, I'm not losing sanity staring at him. That's pretty cool. Sweet. Well, he's gone. Let's uh, check here. Now, I remember when I was recording this so many times before that I was really pissed that there wasn't a key and that I couldn't find one. And none of the notes mention where it could be. Anywhere. At all. And then I, I look at this and then I pulled this off and I was like, what the fuck? How come it made that sound? And why is it over here? And what kind of painting is it? So then I didn't care about it. So then I just left. Turns out. There's a key right there, and a tinderbox, which is really gay, because no note, not a single note, says anything about the key being on a fireplace, and you would never check to look there. Whoever made this half-assed their way through this. They should have checked spelling errors, they should have checked to see if everything was okay, and that there was enough of a hint to know to check the fucking fireplace. Made me so angry. Oh, grab a chair. I know the monster's gone because he entered a, a place that needs a loading screen. That has a loading screen. And I was not sure if there was anything in here. Just wanted to break him. Okay. Anything on here? Nope. Okay. This door is unlocked. Did I remember doing this? I don't know. Oh yeah, and he puts stuff in the bookshelf too, which is really annoying. I don't want to search in a whole bookshelf for keys and stuff. But I think he just put extras there, so I'm not going to bother. Okay. Uh, I was just in here. Blood spatter. Note. Fear. He's after me! I know it. I just know it. Christopher won't listen to me anymore. He just says that the scream at night is part of his mental illness. But I know better. I know better than him. Though it won't be long before he comes for me. I can hear his screams. They're echoing inside my head. You spelled echoing wrong, you little bastard. They're getting closer. I can hear them. He's at my door. I won't make it through... It looked like he. It looks like he never got to write any further before he got dragged away. Okay, nothing, nothing, nothing. Oil. Must have spilled some, I guess. What kind of skeletons are you hiding in your closet? I made that joke in the previous in the previous recordings too. And then I, I asked this, but I told this guy, I'm sorry, I didn't save you and then I kept staring at his dick uh, let's keep going uh, tender bucks anything else probably not I don't care uh, we got a book here we got a book here throw the book of the fire throw the book of the fire oh. uh, we got a candle we got a clock we got a painting we got an urn and we're leaving or a vase whatever you want to call it there's nothing in here nothing else in here 
unless I can take down you. Can I take you down? Nope. Then I don't care. How about you? How about the shield? No? Okay. How about the other shield? Just for the element. Nope. Okay. Just making sure I'm covering all my bases. You don't belong on there. Ooh, laudanum. That's very good. La -di -da -da -da. La -di -da -da -da. What the hell? Okay. A little bit of a glitch there. Alright. And we have a key that goes to this. And guess what? Key doesn't even have a name. It does not have a name. This door has a name, though. It has first floor. Why do they name it the first floor key? Oh, uh, no. Maybe because they half, half ass through this fucking custom story. Oh, my hands are a bit sticky. Not for that reason. Yeah, that's locked. Ooh, ooh. And guess what? No chair. Nothing to hit it with. Oh, no. What am I ever going to do? Nothing in here. Nothing. Nothing. That's locked. And this is his room. You want to know how I know? Because I know it explained it. It explained that much, at least. And then there's just a dark room here. It's like there's nothing in here. I think. No, I guess the tinderbox is here. It's always useful. And we got some weird, strange, glowing cracks. Like they mean something or something. Like they mean something or something. Like they mean something or something. That sounds retarded. Redundancy at its finest. Uh, let's continue. Yeah, not. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's supposed to scream from there. That's his screams, yeah. We still have to find the key to his bloody room. I don't know why. See? It's locked. Why we have to go in there? I have no idea why. Maybe it's an important part to the story. Or maybe he half-assed this thing so badly that uh, it doesn't tell any of the story at all. But I've already gotten past this part, so I know exactly what's going to happen. Oh, look! It repeats itself. You'll, you'll hear it in a second. It seems like this document has been in use lately, and the bottom piece has been ripped off. And he spelt it right. Yep. In the ancient times when people still believed in demons as well as other majestic supernatural creatures, they still do retard. There was one they feared more than the others. The demon was only known as Zah. The rest of the page has been ripped off. It repeats itself, see? Why? The bottom part would have been a bit more realistic and follow it a bit. Why'd you have to say it twice? Uh, but anyway. And uh, I made the joke that it's Zalgo. 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 If you don't know what Zalgo is, look it up. It's a weird kind of creepy pasta thing. It's Z A L G O. Zalgo. Zalgo. It's not as good a name as Enotech. Enotech's an awesome name. And I know it goes to this one. Oh yeah, yeah. And then I made some comments like, uh, "Oh yeah, this is, this is nice. You could have had a little bit more blood and gore, but no, you just got severed body parts." Oh yeah, and you forgot about you. And there's a note over here. Plan in motion. I still don't get why they allowed me to get this far. He spelt it his! Yes, they locked me in some kind of hospital for crazy people. They may have done the right thing on that part. Though that won't stop my plan from being set in motion. I've finally gotten my hand on that godforsaken castle, as some people tend to call it. I will be heading here to there tonight to set things up, because I think some of the people here, despite their crazily ill minds, are on to me, and it won't be long before they will check on me. But they will find nothing, I will be gone, leaving this wicked place. 
You made your room really wicked. Why are you calling this place wicked? What you've just done, what you've been doing in your room is far more wicked than this place could ever be. And I applaud you for it. Did I ever check this? I don't think I ever did. I think I found nothing in here. Yeah, I did. Okay. And then there's over here, I think, uh, oil, maybe? I think there's a large oil potion. I don't know why they named it a large oil potion, no? Okay. In the cabinet? No. Okay. Uh, let's check this room. It's not open. Oh, wait. I got a key. Main hall key. Hmm. I wonder what it could go to. Maybe it goes to this one. Nope. Well, let's go to the other one. Yep. Potion. Oil potion. I mean, oil. Fuck you. You know what I meant. Key. Picked up nothing. I've picked up nothing because, as I said before, he half-assed his way through this and forgot to name the keys. So I have no idea what it goes through. I wonder what it could go through. Two. Fuck you. Go to. I wonder what it could go to. Hmm. Maybe it goes to this bookshelf. I bet it goes to this bookshelf. Let's see if it goes to this bookshelf. I bet it goes. Come on. Go. Ah, oh, I was wrong. Oh, no, I was wrong. Ah, oh, maybe it goes to this bookshelf. Does it go to this chair? I don't know. He didn't name it. Because he's retarded. God. I hate it when people half-ass stuff. nothing in there okay maybe it goes to this baby fountain does it does it go here I bet it goes here does it go in here I bet it goes in here yeah look it's flashing it's gonna go in there no no does it go in the baby's mouth bet it goes in the baby's mouth you have fine legs it doesn't go in the baby's mouth uh, does it go up here does it go to there no it doesn't no it doesn't does it go back here I bet it doesn't I bet it doesn't I bet it doesn't nope Gee! Gee Wilkers, I don't know where it goes! Ooh, maybe it goes to this rope! Does it go to the rope? Does it go to the rope? I bet it goes in the rope! The rope's got a hole, and the key goes in the hole! No? Okay! How about this? Fuck you! I know where it goes. <sighs> the door is locked. There should be a key in a drawer by the front desk. Could have said entrance key, because that's exactly what it is. It's an entrance key. You should have said entrance key. Ah. All right. There's nothing over here. There's nothing over here. There's only one thing, and it's over here. It's back over here, and it's a note with a key. You would have never thought to look here. Now would you? Because there's nothing that says it's over here. Note. Dear diary, today was my eighth birthday. You said it twice, you little fucker. Today was my eighth birthday. I had a great time. I got a pet rabbit. I named him Snuffles. My mom says someone moved into the big castle. We're going to visit here today. I can't wait inside a real castle. Emily. <sighs> Again, it's the only note in this area, and it doesn't say how to get in the fucking castle. Ah! But it does give me a key. Why would a little girl have a key? I don't know. But anyway, and besides, I'm starting to hear say there is here. I don't know why. Maybe the fucking typo syndrome is starting to infect me. God. All right. Pick up the key. It says rusty key. Where does it go? An unmarked key. Gee, I wonder what it goes through. Does it go to one of these doors? <sighs> no, it doesn't. How about the barrel? <laughs> nope. Uh, 
<gasps> How about the torch over there? It's gotta be the torch, right? Nope. No, oh, let's let's check the door. Nope. You know what? The door doesn't even say that there's another entrance. And it doesn't, yeah, see, it doesn't even work. Oh, look! Wow, did this get here? There's not a single note, or a single boss, or an enemy, or an NPC to say anything! Or a voice, a disembodied voice in my head that tells me there's a door beside the other door. Maybe it goes to that! I don't know! We'll see it next time on Time of Death.